In this video, I'll discuss three important areas of filmmaking taught by two of my favorite YouTubers. So here I am creating a video about Matt Diavella and Casey Neistat and how they help me with my filmmaking style. I've taken their online courses and even though they're totally different filmmakers and their style is completely different, there are a few areas we should all take into consider when we're creating our videos. Matt's course is probably the easiest to follow because of the slower approach that you can take. He has a very simple workbook that accompanies the course and an easy method to follow along online. Matt being a minimalist makes it very clear about what you're going to learn. However, much of Matt's course is for the beginner YouTuber with zero experience on how to turn on a camera and how to set up your YouTube channel. However, what I was excited to learn about is how he makes his videos so polished and professional looking. Casey Neistat's course was completely different and it was the format that was the shocker. We got to follow along with others in peer groups. We got to go out and actually shoot two videos in 30 days. Casey mostly focused on storytelling while editing, but we got to see his amazing mind work through challenges and how he uses his camera to create emotion on the fly. I had no doubt what I was getting into when I actually took Casey's course and signed up for it based on his work ethic, personality, and insanely creative videos. When we do dive into the methods used by each of them, they may seem to contradict each other, but I find that helpful because the creative process is different for everybody. Let's take a look at the video construct of both courses in this outline. Taking a look here, you can definitely see that they laid out their courses very differently, but I found a few areas that are similar to each other for us to discuss. For example, how to come up with original video ideas coincides with Casey's finding ideas and stories. Matt offers six rules for active storytelling. Casey's cinematography and storytelling is amazing. So we'll look at both of them to find what works for us. So out of all this, I'll keep it nice and concise. We will look at three important areas that are different but informative. Ideas and idea generation, storytelling and filming, and the edit. Matt is a brainstorming genius. He simply uses post-it notes and sets a timer for 10 minutes, and then he comes up with whatever pops into his head about his niche. Write it all down, sort it after 10 minutes, and see what you get. I found this technique pretty valuable. When it's the first time starting out, it's difficult to try to come up with ideas. But if you stay focused on what your audience and avatar is, it's not too difficult to vomit something on the post-it notes. You'll be surprised how many golden nuggets surface when doing this technique. That's how I came up with this video, storing your ideas. Matt explains now you need a place to store your ideas. To make it easy for himself to grab and share these ideas, he uses Apple Notes. And I started using that as well, since I recently have gone back to Apple for my desktop, laptop, tablet, and my phone. Another advantage is that the ideas are stored on the cloud, allowing them to sync seamlessly on all devices. It makes it easy to look back through them when you need an idea, especially for writer's block. Now, Casey thinks ideas are overemphasized. Instead, he looks for interestingness. I find this interesting because maybe we do get wrapped up into coming up with good ideas instead of actually doing something with our YouTube channel. Casey states that a great idea can make for a garbage movie and a garbage idea can make for a great movie. Casey shares how his most watched video about an airplane seat was not necessarily a good idea but how he executed to tell a great story is why it has been the most watched video he's ever had. Casey's idea generation comes from his own experiences. He says, tell stories about things you're gonna do or that you've done. This is that encyclopedia that you can draw from, especially when you need an idea. Now, all ideas are not good and that's okay. Even Casey comes up with stupid ideas. However, some ideas are seen insignificant but have universal themes. Something about the content applies to universal principle, and you just have Casey confirming that. For example, his movie Bike Lanes is not necessarily a good idea, but how he tells the story with humor and with an approach to sticking it to the police 
depicts a universal theme of fairness for all. Most of the time, you have to go on a journey with Casey. This way, you find out more the truth of what he's trying to seek, and you're doing it together. It really does feel like you're both coming up with the conclusion as a team. You really do feel something at the end. However you choose to get your ideas, the next most important factor is story. The opener of your video is so incredibly important, it can take one day to shoot that very first 20 or 30 seconds. Both Matt and Casey spend enormous amounts of time on their intros because they know about how much it increases the engagement for their audience. The door cam's a GoPro Hero 4. This thing's probably been on non-stop for like six years, seven years. I think I finally killed it. The first 10 to 20 seconds of your YouTube video is the most important part to get people to watch the rest of your video. So what makes an amazing opener for a video? Well, Matt makes a point. It's called originality, brevity, and the hook of what makes a great opener. Originality is the personality and the production value. Brevity, keep your point short and grab the attention. Set the stakes of the video. Once the opener is complete, then you can dive right into the story that you're trying to deliver. One of Matt's rules for effective storytelling is don't bury the lead. What that means is many other creators and YouTubers have a tendency to share a little too much, like what they had for dinner, breakfast, or what they're gonna do that day. Well, here we are in the backyard drinking my coffee. Man, it's such a glorious day out here. And I can't even imagine, you know, going into the office and experiencing anything but my coffee and you know the birds chirping listen 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 do you guys do you guys hear the birds chirping listen to the listen sorry i must drop my camera listen to the birds chirp now this is great for a daily vlog for the people that know and care about you but when you're first starting out you could lose your audience because the contrast isn't relevant to the title or thumbnail or the video that you're actually trying to deliver. Matt uses another technique called peel back the onion. For example, a documentary that Matt filmed when he went really deep, he went into the origins of the topic. He defined the topic better, getting into the culture and the context. He looked at misconceptions that others had, different perspectives and personal experience. Another thing, never repeat yourself, which sounds if you are simply trying to make things longer. Dive deeper into the topic and provide more insight. Another tip, don't be lazy. Prepare an outline or a script before you film. And one of the last points that Matt makes is kill your darlings. Regardless of how much time you spend on something, it doesn't matter if it doesn't make the story better. Casey, he works differently. Since there's rarely a script, and he films and edits chronologically, he breaks his videos into acts. First, the setup and the story and with the opener, and then he sets the mission. And here, when we were doing this course, he takes us on a journey through New York to try to find some Ray-Ban glasses. Ideally, he wants to be able to get those glasses and we go on that journey. And he does. It took a while, but we got there. So then we have to look at what the glasses are. Well, they're cool, but they lacked Casey's style, his being. So he makes them his by painting them like he's done in many other videos. In act three, he actually shows us from the perspective of the glasses that he picked up and painted, and now we get to see the rest of the story. What's so interesting and amazing about Casey, besides the fact that he can chronologically create a movie the way that he does, but how enthusiastically he does it. His enthusiasm about the craft is what's so incredibly addicting in his videos. I wonder if I could create a script like Matt, but depict it with the enthusiasm like Casey. So for Matt, it comes down to two core components, planning and process. Since Matt has planned out his video with a formal script or outline, there is less guess as to what would come next. The structure of the video is laid out before you, 
and you get to the point to where all you need to do is formulate your video to that structure. The edit to Casey is where it all happens. His passion, his enthusiasm for the movie is here. He is simply a kid in a candy store and excited about every clip that lands on the timeline. The music has to fit just perfect and it helps make the story more complete. His heart, art, and energy and focus is all in every single clip. This is truly where Casey shines. It's really hard to communicate the power of Casey's edit in this course, but I do think every creator will learn something from it. It's simply a great experience peeking over his shoulder as he creates magic. He makes it look so simple. Well, there you have it. I wanted to create a review on Matt's course and Casey's course, but I found that they were already out there. So I tried to be a little unique and do a simple, mild comparison of both. They are very different, but they both provide valuable information. Even the experienced YouTuber, I feel, can learn from. If you are interested in either of these courses, I put them in the links below. Check them out. They were worth every penny. Now, if you like this video, um, buy me a coffee. Another advantage is that of the, to all the other devices, it makes it easy to look back. Pain in the butt.